Yeah, I think we go Fading Icon first. Go Eradication. This is threatening 9 damage. So even if the opponent has like their own Death Grabs or Haste Spike, which we know they don't. And then Eradication to self-kill my units, and that's going to burn them out. That's why having the multiple Mordekaisers was so important. And open attacking with them was so good, right? <clears throat> Hey everyone, Sir Tim here again. So, a while back, uh, what, well, like three weeks ago now, one of my last videos early in the year, one of our viewers, Benjamin, recommended this Ash Mordekaiser deck. And I started playing it, and it's actually a lot of fun. I don't think it's specifically really good, right? I, I think I think Mordekaiser obviously has better pairings, like we're talking about Morgana, we're talking about Viego, but this is really fun because you get to play Revna and be able to kind of resurrect that Revna with the Mordekaiser over and over again, which makes all your units like pretty crazy. So you end up getting with some very fun board states. At the end of the day, you're still gonna win with Mordekaiser shenanigans, but it just adds a little bit of flavor to this deck if you're looking for a different way of playing Mordekaiser. And of, of course, having access to all these freezes from uh, from the Ash and from Frelier does allow us to also kind of do some cool things in terms of allowing us to survive and be able to deal with the opponent's aggression. So today we're kind of doing like a viewer deck. So I hope that you enjoy the games kind of soon. And if you do, make sure to like the video below and subscribe to us. We post LOR videos every single day. And you can stick to the end of the video where we'll do some in-depth breakdown and mulligan tips on how to pilot this deck. In this match, we're going against Nora and Elder Dragon. And uh, I really don't like this matchup uh, because of a little thing called Early Bird. So because of Early Bird, I'm going to keep both Rekindler and Mordekaiser. And just hope that the Early Bird hits Rekindler and not the Mordekaiser. We do have the Remna, which is good. We have the uh, Soul Harvest for the Nora. Although it might be actually be better to do it on the, uh, on the Brahmin, right? So in this matchup, the Brahmin is going to be an issue, even if we have Rev now. But the thing is that the Brahmin can so easily hit one of the booms to keep it out of range, right? That's a that's a weird that's a weird trinket trade. Right? Even if you're trying to just tuber level your Nora, I don't think that's a good trinket trade. Right? I'm gonna keep this Omen Hug back because I want to just kill Nora. If I play Omen Hawk and the opponent has like a Pi Toss, I guess they have to do it. No, I, I guess we should play. We should just play this. Yeah, yeah we should just play this. Because even if the opponent has Nora, they first have to go for the Pi Toss, which means that they cannot play both Nora and Pi Toss this turn. So, yeah, so let's go here. We don't have the Deathless stuff, right? Uh, still worry about, of course, like I said, I'm still worried about this. Um, Early bird. Out of this, okay. You hit the eradication every time. Or you can hit the red net and make it minus one power. But I don't care about the power, I care more about the health. I think you hit the eradication every time, yeah. There's, there's no question about it. Question is here, do we block that 2-1? Oh, you know what's crazy? Oh wait, early bird is it I can't I can't remember. It's early bird. You no, know, early early bird is any card, right? So now this gives me another protection. Yeah, so if you hit the if you hit the eradication, then your early bird is gonna be trash. Because you know it's gonna it's gonna block the eradication every time. Okay, well, so now we know that they we're protected against early bear, no matter what happens. And I will block this here, even if it means losing my Nora blocker. And then I just play Ash, and I guess hope that I find something for turn 5. Hmm. Wow, that's sad. <laughs> Let's go, Ash. Let's be mana efficient here. So we go Ash. We get at least one freeze out of this. The opponent has a bad hand if they're playing this. 
If I attack with Ash and the block with one of the Otterpus, it puts me in range of a group shot. Once the opponent has four units. But I think I think trying to level up the Ash is worth it. The question is, do I put this on the Rekindler or do I put this on the Mordekaiser? Or do I put it on the Ragnar? Right? That's a good that's a great draw. That's a great draw. Yeah, so we just go Omen Hawk now. So now you we're able to pop one or the other, right? You're gonna have to have double Pytos or Group Trap plus Pytos just to kill this. Are they gonna go for it? Looks like they are. Um do we kill the burble fish or do we kill the Nora? Do I care about the Nora portals? Probably not, right? Not yet. Here's my question again. Rekindler or Mordekaiser? Let's put it on Rekindler. Makes the most sense, right? My concern is that I'm going to have too many cards in my hand. My concern is that I'm going to have too many cards in my hand, so it's going to make it a little bit worthless. Uh, we'll just go like this and just kill this. I'm okay with them getting the portal for now. Because I don't think it's... Uh, like, I don't think I care about their portal stuff just yet. It's annoying, but it's not impossible for us to deal with. Attacking with Ash here means that we're going to lose to a Pytos. Okay. I think I'm done to do it. I think I'm done to just push this damage for now. Let them kill Ash if they want to. It's gonna make my Rekindler actually come back and bring Ash. And maybe we actually win this game through Ash over anything else. So maybe maybe this is an Ash game where we just freeze the whole board and just create this big attack. And if the opponent is playing Pytos here, it means one less Pytos when we're, from when Browpoint comes down. Something tells me that the opponent just has a bunch of burglar fish. If they go like this, and this is telling me that they're gonna just brought me in and then uh, just do their shenanigans later, anyways, right? Or they might have found. Drop the bomb? Okay, that's fine. I I'm not gonna glimpse there because I think the glimpse is gonna be better once we have Mordekaiser in the field. Because, like, now we can go Mordekaiser next turn and be able to have glimpse in case that I need it. And also, the glimpse is going to be also better when we have a candle on the field, right? With Mordecai's here. Yeah, that's what I figured. I figured that the opponent had a bunch of burble fish. That's why I do think that killing the burble fish last turn was probably better. Like, the way that, they're play the way that they were playing with all these trinket trades kind of telegraphed that. We do have another elusive blocker. Probably don't want to play it now. I think I think we just go for Mordekaiser. I think we just go for Mordekaiser and play with Kindler and Omenhawk next turn. We also have this eradication technically, I guess, right? And I guess that's what the opponent was worried about. I'm gonna go like this, and if you have Brahman, you can go for Brahman. You're just gonna enable my Rekindler. Yeah, like your Brahman is just gonna enable my Rekindler here. They have two portals that puts in a four. If we play with Kindler right away, is that worth it? Is the Ash leveled up worth it? Probably not. I probably just want to keep this for actual Mordecai, sir. I think so. I think we just we just get blockers, so I'm not dying to the opponent. Um, again, the only concern that I have is going to be a Brahmin eventually. I'm just going to open attack, right? Into the Nora. And whenever the opponent kills with Kendra, uh, like, as much as I will have, as much as I will have wanted this to be a... Uh, Ash game? I don't think it's gonna be an Ash game. 
It's just it's just too easy for the opponent to deal with it, right? I have to make sure that I survive against all these elusives. I have enough units, right, that I don't care about attacking me. Like, I think I'm gonna be I'm gonna good spot. Because we can go fading icon, sentry, omen hawk, and just have all this value. We also have this bigger education that the opponent has to worry about. We have 8, 10. I don't think eradication makes sense. It might actually make sense. Okay, so let's say that we go eradication. What's the punish here? We go eradication, it kills their whole board. Minus the Sane, minus the Plaza. Opponent gets another spell with the Burble Fish. If they have Broad Main. If they have the Broad Main. Alright, so if we go Eradication. It means that if the opponent gets the Early Bird, I'm also like in trouble. I think we go like this. I think we just go like this and just kill Nora for now. I think we just worry about the Nora. The opponent's doing all these Plaza Garden shenanigans, which is not gonna matter for us a lot. Eventually, we'll get this Mordecai to level up. If the opponent has the stun, they have the stun. Yeah. I guess we can still go ahead and play this Eradication right now. If the opponent plays Broadman here and doesn't get the boom. I just dislike that I'm giving them an extra spell here. So that's one damage that the opponent is going to be pushing next turn because we're going to have this Omen Hawk, right? Yeah, so we just play the Omen Hawk first. Just show the opponent that no matter what they do, we're going to be chilling. Like, they're not going to have an elusive attack. And then I am down to just play the Sentry. Oh, wait a second. Like, the Eradication is such a good protection, because if we lose the Eradication, if we use the Eradication, the Rekindler will die to Early Bird. And I placed K before, so I know that they're playing Early Bird. So that's why I know that I, I need to kind of play around it. This gives me a blocker for the Saiyan, and then we go for the Sentry. We can always glimpse this Ravna if we want to. Yeah, we'll go like this. So now I think I can actually, like, the question is, do I just win the game if I play Eradication, right? Like, that that's the question here. Like, it might make sense to just play Eradication just because it wins me the game. Because it still leaves me with full board. And the opponent only has two attackers that don't do anything. And we still have an elusive blocker. Because I do have to, I guess, kind of... I mean, the Elder Dragon is so far away that I don't think I actually realistically play around it. We know that the opponent has a random Fae, right? Okay, so if the opponent is going like this, this is easy, right? We just block, 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 block. Level up our Mordecai, sir, I guess. Or very quickly level him up. You're going to actually toss? Okay. <laughs> Like, I, I, I don't mind if you want to toss, my friend. I do not mind it at all. Oh, this is fearsome, unfortunately. Honestly, let's go like this. I guess they could have, like, let's go like this, and if the opponent commits anything, we just go flash freeze. Or do we actually let this guy die? Maybe, maybe we actually let this guy die. Maybe we actually go like this. Maybe we go like this, let it die. So that we can get the draw and also get the board space. I mean, this is a pretty big attack next time. With or without Ash, it's a pretty big attack. Like, if the opponent has Pytos or Group Shot, I didn't want to just lose Mordecai without trading for the Plaza Guardian. But I guess I could have just bait it out the freeze. Oh, that's a nice draw. We can steal Eradication after the fact, right? So we can steal Eradication after everything is said and done. Um, 
Again, we have this with Kendra that we can play after the Mordecai said dies. Are you actually gonna kill it? Like, you're just enabling the Mordecai to come back. There's one Brahmin. That's also one good thing, that it gives me information here. So there's a second Plaza Guardian. There's the second Brahmin. There's our draw, and that's a huge draw. That's a huge draw. You shouldn't kill this. You know I have Mordecai, sir. Ah, uh, you know I have Rekindle. Maybe I should kill my own Mordecai, to be honest. Like, how crazy is that? They're actually gonna do it. They're actually gonna do it. That's, that's nuts. That's actually nuts. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. The, 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 the only thing here that's kind of annoying is the fact that we don't get... Um, to level up Mordecai, we're gonna have to get rid of the fading icon. Like, if we go Glimpse and the Rekindler, I'm not... I guess I am... I am getting a second Mordecai, sir. Like, if we go like this, we get double Mordecai, sir. What about we go like this instead? Opponent doesn't have a way to kill this unless they have double group shot. And then we can glimpse, I don't know, the Omen Hawk or the Revna and get value that way. I want to be able to just open attack with a level the Mordecai, sir, so that's why I kind of want to use this glimpse. I could have sacrificed the Fading Icon instead, but that didn't give me double Mordecai, sir, so that's why I kind of like this better. Another group shot that goes bye-bye. And then we'll go here and just get the Red Knight to give me the draw. Even if the opponent has another group shot to kill this Red Knight, we still get the level up. And then we just open attack with double Mordecai, sir, and just win the game. And the Red Knight gives me another draw. So this, this is like refilling my hand. Because it's going to be six cards that get draw. Yeah, it's six cards. Because we draw two here. And the Dre Revna, Revna gives me another draw. Then we just open attack. Kill everything that the opponent has. You kill this. Oh, they went up there. Wait, that means I get more draw. That means we get four cards in our hand. And Revna draws me two units. So now you just really lose that, right? Boom. <laughs> what is that? A 10 10 rekindler? A 15 18 Mordekaiser? <laughs> yeah! I don't think there's anything that the opponent can do anymore. Especially not a fair attack here. So we challenge the elusive because I want to make sure we die he dies. Um I guess we can challenge this guy and then attack with the rest even if the opponent kills this omen hawk i'm cool with that yeah and i still i wanted to continue tossing so i'm gonna go like this i wanted to continue tossing every time that they lose a unit here so the problem here is that now with the mordecai sir enable we're just like Draining them out, right? So that like, we're just draining so much damage from them. Like this here is the same as not blocking. And we have the board space, and we can just go Mordecai's and Death Brahmin. There's the third Brahmin. Fortunately for the opponent, all their Brahmin was in the bottom. But we have so we have so much value that I don't think Brahmin was really an issue, right? Wild up. What's the last one? Riptide Reds? I guess Brahmin into Riptide Reds would have definitely been a problem. Like, I'm surprised they're still staying in this game. Because I can always just go Mordecai's to death from here and just finish it. Um, Is that what I want to do? It brings back the Omen Hawk and a Revna, so we get another Revna trigger. That's kind of funny. That's kind of funny. 
They should have a way to kill this. This Mordecai, say, if we do that. Yeah, that's not enough. So that's one, two, three, four, five units that die, which means that that is enough for Leto because he's going to drain them by... Uh... I guess the only annoying part here is that I'm actually... Oop. I'm I will lose one of these Mordekaisers. But we're triggering the death run one more time and we still have another Mordekaiser on the field and we get to kill the whole boar. Like, this is Leto. That's why I want to just do it. Even, even if we lose Mordekaiser to the Plaza Guardian, it's just straight up Leto. We might even be able to redraw this pla this guy. First in backpack was one of the random cards they must have gotten from the Burble Fish. And that's game. Redna triggers again. I want to see what I get. I want to see what I get with Redna. Omen Hawk, Redna. 15, 13, Legion of the <laughs> GG supporter. GG's. In this match, we're going against Diego, Mordekaiser, and Elder Dragon. So, honestly, the, the most annoying part here is dealing with the Diego before he levels up. We don't get Mordekaiser. We don't get Revna. Because Revna also allows me to have these units just be so big that the opponent's going to struggle. And the opponent kept three cards. So, I can only assume that they have access to Diego. Mordecai is or both already. It's gonna be a problem. Okay, we get our Mordecai, so that's not bad. We don't have a play for turn three, and our turn four play just gets punished by Haste Spike. Okay, I guess we found it. Let's go Rekindler. Because I want this Mordecai to die anyway, so I guess we'll go like this. Put on the Rekindler. Play Mordekaiser. I, I could have attacked with the Omen Hawk, but I guess it doesn't matter, to be honest. Do I just... I think I'm just going to drop the Ash. If you want to go for your Haste Spike here or Death Crash, be my guess. Like, I'm down to give you the Ash. Okay. Unfortunately, we don't have our own haste spike, right? So we couldn't counter their haste spike. But if I can eat up this removal now, before their Mordekaiser comes down into the field, I think it's still a win for us. Uh, we don't have Revna though, so that's again, it's gonna be a little bit more strange on how we're gonna be able to win this game. Okay, yeah, that's a safe glimpse because you know that I didn't. You know I didn't play the hay spike, so you like you just assume that I don't have it, right? Which makes sense. We play second ash, and the second ash also gets to move. I will unite the frail yard. But now we actually have the hay spike. So if you're still playing as if I don't have a hay spike, that's gonna be a punish. I guess we just attack with everything. Let you block wherever you want to. If I can kill their blockers right now, it's better for us than, than, than doing it later. Um, another haste pack? Okay, so I guess we'll go like this. So now you have to have a death crash as well. And again, if, I, if I'm taking this removal out of them now, it's better for us. Like, I'd rather get the removal out of the way now. So they're going to get Tread the Needle. So we the Haste Spike gets cancelled. The opponent gets access to their Haste Spike. Ah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so again. I mean, we have this Mordekaiser combos with the Rekindler. So it's not, I guess, impossible for us to get there. It's just annoying. Like, very annoying. Very, very annoying. You have the Pearson, and we still have this guy, right? So I don't think I don't think it's a big deal. If they don't do anything here, I might just like if they don't attack, I might just go Mordekaiser and just go from it, go from there. 
Yeah, I mean, I guess I might as well just save one damage. I know I'm going to be using this later. I don't want to play this. I think it's going to just fill my board too much. And I need to be able to have space for this Rekindler Mordekaiser stuff. So we're just going to go like this. Get this Mordekaiser now. Still have this blocker there. Uh, then we go Rekindler. We have the Glimpse. We have the Harbor. And then we just need to level up this Mordekaiser. Yeah, we just let this go because we want to keep the glimpse when we have the uh, Mordekaiser on the field. I guess opponent could push 8 damage if they kill this Legion of the Seven. Okay. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Um... Still don't have enough board space though, right? Unfortunately. Diego Despair. If I go here right now. I'm kind of just losing my board presence. I think I just passed, right? I think I just let that go. Like, I could go for it right there. But I think it's better to just go here and just force the opponent to have, like, a death grasp if they want to. We have a second glimpse, so that gives us another Mordekaiser. Like, we're just going to get Mordekaiser all the time, right? <clears throat> we are not able to level up, though, right? Because at most, I can get to 13. I can get to 14 by killing another Rekindler. It's not enough. It's not enough. Unless the opponent gives me another death. Um. I would love to have this Mordecai to level up. It would be so nice. It would have been so nice to have it leveled up. It does allow me to attack their Diego and set up for this Death Grass. Because the problem here is that if I attack, if I don't open attack and the opponent has Ruination, I become very sad, right? So like if I if I if I go like this, right? Honestly, I guess let's just take this damage. Let's just go here. This is still die to uh death grass and we just push damage. Let's just push damage. Cause I'm I'm just scared of a ruination, unfortunately. But I'm gonna have to just put pressure into the opponent. The Diego is not leveling up yet, right? So it's not like he's a threat just yet. If they have Ruination, at least we got to push damage. And again, that's that's kind of what I expected. Uh, we can get multiple draws by going here. Three, so yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll be able to kind of fill our hand. Because this is going to make it so that we get two sentries. So by with this glimpse, gives me five draws. Actually, I think we overdraw by one. I am not done with you. Right? So now we're looking for a second Rekindler or a second Mordekaiser. Yeah, we we were doing one, two, four. No, no, we exactly ten, right? Exactly ten. Exactly ten. Um. Oh, but we lose the equipment. That's a big deal. That is a big deal. We can go Redna. I think I don't mind the Redna. It gives me the draw, we follow the legends until we which could be well. I, I wasn't. I didn't want another right now, but it could have been a Mordekaiser or a Rekindler. So we can try to dig for the Mordekaiser, the Rekindler here. Okay, we get the Mordekaiser anyways. Um, do we do it right now? We each died and then found hope. I'm debating if I want to play Remnant. 
<laughs> and just greet out this big remnant? You know what? Let's greet it out. Let's greet it out and just have these units be so big that the opponent's going to have a hard time dealing with them. And we can actually give Deathless to the Mordekaiser at the same time. I'll give you the draw because I want to have the board space. Yeah, I kind of want to have this board space. We can actually play Mordekaiser into the Revnas, right? Force the opponent to have to have another Ruination if they want to kill us. I just like it because it gives me the, the it gives me the um, it gives me the, the draw, right? So it gives me the draw. So like we can go like this and just get the draw here, which could potentially be a rekindler. There it is. So now like look at my units. <laughs> we also have Deathless of this Mordecai thing, and we're about to trigger his uh, his stuff, right? Yeah, I mean, you can do whatever you want here. I mean, I guess they get a second Biego now. The double Biego is a little bit annoying. Yeah, the little the double Biego is annoying, and the opponent also gets their own Mordekaiser. Are we able to kill this Mordekaiser? I guess we can, right? We can, we can kill the Mordekaiser, and then go for like a... Oh no, we cannot, because he went to 10. But we can kill one of the Biegos, I guess. And if we kill one of the Biegos, it means that that Biego levels up. Unless we go ahead and put the Freeze on it. If we put the Freeze on it... This this guy's got reset, didn't they? If we drag here... It still means that this one doesn't get to level up, right? So I think we go like this first. Or still pointing to have to just self-sacrifice. This is the problem, right? Like this Piego leveling up is gonna be a problem. Cause what I can do, by the way, it's actually funny because they can just let, let that Piego level up. I can just flash freeze whichever which whatever the opponent does here. So they have to try to level up this Biego. If they go like this, they don't get the Biego level up. At least not yet. So I guess we just let it go. My units are big enough that I'm actually like... Like, I'd rather... I, I don't care about Biego as much, I don't think, to be honest. My units are big enough that I can actually just play a unit so that the Mordekaiser stays alive. My concern here is that the opponent does have their Mordekaiser, so they, we're going to be, like, trading the healing, right? If we have Harsh Winds, this would be kind of nice. But we don't. This guy is not... It's going to be a 19, so it's still not leveled up. Elder Dragon. Wait a second. Is that enough to level up Elder Dragon? Am I going to have to freeze the Elder Dragon? The pudding has Deathless on it. It's a lot of damage. It's a lot of damage. I guess we can just play Rekindler, right? Let's say that the opponent clears my whole board. We go Rekindler. Get multiple Mordekaisers. Play the Fading Icon to try to... Uh... You have to drag this. You have to literally drag this. Yeah, like, you have to deal with this. There we go. So we go Rekindler. Wait, you're gonna leave me the Mordecai? I guess I guess the I guess the Mordecai it just comes back, right? So that's why they don't care. The North is ours. 
one damage. So I guess I gotta go here. So the more the casket comes back, this doesn't even die. So this gets hit by the Viegos. We go to one, and the opponent can just kill me. I'm gonna have to use the priest, I think. If I go to one, I guess it got, I guess I have the death grass, right? So going to one is fine. I think going to one is okay. No, wait, that, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Cause uh, as long as as long as the Mordecai is not dying to the Diego, I should be okay. And it's not okay, but it's not impossible. We're just gonna try to burn them out, right? We're just gonna try to burn them out with. Uh... Yeah, so we go, we go rekindler. We're gonna try to burn them out with the drain. So I actually don't want to use this until after these two cards get pulled by the Diego. So my Mordecai says stay alive. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> I feel like I need to keep this death grass, unfortunately. All right, so this is gonna pull these two enemies. The Elder Dragon is about to level up, so I need to somehow kill that as well. But there's no way for me to really kill it. Yeah, I guess we'll go like this. You steal this, you steal that. Oh my goodness. So we go like this, we go like this. Oh wait, ah, uh, it doesn't work. We have to go here first. Yeah, we have to go like this, right? Because this is the right order. So we go like this, and then if the, de if the death run goes through, we just win the game. So I want to get this Mordekaiser value first. There's no way for them to kill this guy, right? I guess if they have a vengeance, they can kill it. But even if they have vengeance, I can go death grabs into Mordekaiser death run. Because I have two Mordekaisers, so if the opponent plays Vengeance here first, we can still keep it alive. The problem is that if they have another thing after that Vengeance, I'm kind of screwed. What a weird game. Yeah, so see, they go for the Death Grass, which just kind of wins in the game here, right? So, we go for our own Death Grass on their Rekindler. And they will have to use the third Death Grass. Okay, so I think we just win, right? It doesn't even have to be, it doesn't have to be the Death Realm. I can just go Eradication. I can just go Eradication now, and the Eradication will push six damage exactly. So we can go Eradication and then go Death Grass. Okay. All right, all right. Um, do we play Fading Icon first? Is there any reason for me to need the two mana? Yeah, I think we go Fading Icon first. Go Eradication, this is threatening 9 damage. So even if the opponent has like their own Death Grass or Haste Spike, which we know they don't. And then Eradication to self-kill my units and that's gonna burn them out. That's why having the multiple Mordekaises was so important. And open attacking with them was so good, right? <clears throat> and now uh, oh, we win! We, we finished with 20 HP. Oh no, 18, sorry. 18, 18, 18. Oh! Man, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. <laughs> GG's. In this match, we're going against Nico and Elder Dragon. So the opponent has like no spells, right? Am I missing something? They have no spells here?
because this is like followers and this is also followers so they have no spells i don't like the fact i mean i, I want to find like a soul harvest and eradication i'm scared of getting rid of all my units though okay so omen hawk is great soul harvest is what we were looking for right because the soul harvest lets me kill their units before they attack with the nico so I don't care about that Omen Hawk. I guess I should have attacked. We would have gotten rid of the bird archetype, but I, I don't really mind. It, yeah, because this is better. Fortunately, it wasn't the buffed up Doggo, right? Yeah, fortunately for us, it wasn't the buffed up Doggo. So I guess they do. I, I did let them get the bird. I should have just attacked and missed one damage. Because I don't think opponent was ever going to be blocking. Do we pass here? I guess now we can just go second Omen Hawk and just have the Soul Harvest or Haste Spike, right? Tiny toads, giant snakes, yeah, like we just go like this, get rid of the Anura. Make, make it so that the opponent cannot spam their units. Uh, we can go attack here, Sever into Ash. Opponent is still pretty far away from where they need to be. Death Grass is really good. If they try to attack here, okay, so that's a good blocker, right? They do get the snow doggy, but we get to just block it with the sever. And we get oh that was a Nico. That was actually a Nico. Wow. Um So we'll play Ash and with the Rekindler, that's gonna make it really fancy. I think we just pass. I think I like slowing down the opponent. Okay, well I guess we just win, right? Yeah, I think we just win. I guess the opponent gets a lot of value here with that Deathless reducing everything. But I think with the Retina, we're kind of just setting up. Yeah, okay, yeah, so we, we just win. We actually just win, right? Yeah, I'm okay doing this. We go Retina and Ash and just attack and chill. And now we also have the Haste Spike. I love this Red Knight combo. I love doing Red Knight with Mordecai. So, like, look at look at this Omen Hawk. It's a 6-6 six, six now. We also have Haze Spike, so we can literally get our unit back whenever we want to. I'm gonna just kill this Cloud Drake, right? Yeah, I guess we'll just go like this. Let the opponent kill the Ash if they want to. Oh, they're gonna kill Redna instead? I respect it. But now you're gonna get punished by the Ash and the Rekindlers. The opponent has a lot of value. Opponent has a lot of a lot of cards, right? Opponent has a lot of cards, but I'm not scared. We have a blocker for the Nico. We have we're gonna have multiple blockers with the Rekindler. And access to Haste Spike, or we can just drop this Omen Hawk down too. So like this is I think at this point, because of the red nest, it doesn't matter what the opponent does. My units are just way too big. And we're going to get into the Ash, which means that we're going to have all these freezes next turn. So even if the opponent can save units, it doesn't matter. Sure, like, be my guess. They, they got triple discount, right? They got triple discount. I think I, I think I literally just go... You know? That's a good that's a good one. I did not expect that. I did not expect that. But I think I'm just gonna go like this. I'm gonna let you play whatever combo you have. I'm gonna let you play whatever combo you have. You get the challenger, that's cool. Um I might not do anything here because I wanna have access to Death Grass and Hay Spike. I guess I get a little bit punished if the opponent has an elusive here. Because then all their Cobras get elusive, but that's where that second Omen Hawk comes in. So I want to be able to have the space to get another Ash. If I need to. Okay. I guess we'll go like this and just put the thing on the Omen Hawk. So we get another Ash. 
and then we play Omen Hawk. We still one away, I mean two away. Show them the way. The pony is so far away from doing anything, right? Like, what are they doing here? Here's my question. Do I just level up this Ash? I mean, do I just level up this Mordecai? So probably, right? Like, I think I just go like this and just level up the Mordecai and just kill their stuff. It does let them have a turn to play the Cobra. But I think the Mordecai level up is just so good for us here. Even if we lose that husk. Oh, that's a good punish. That's a good punish that I was not playing around. Yeah, I did not play around that whatsoever. Wow. Okay, 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 okay. As the arrow flies. I, li I like it. Wow, I did not play around that at all. Hmm. I guess we'll go like this. Do I need to play? Do I need to hit with both Ash? I think I just hit with one. I think I just hit with one for now. Let them block it. The overwhelm, overwhelm. I, I didn't play around Warden. That's completely on me. I did not play around Warden whatsoever. So how do we? How do we stop this? I guess we need these big blockers. The problem is this Cobra. I need a... I need a freeze. That's how we stop it. This is how we stop it, right? We just go... Yeah, I guess we just go like this, right? And then next up we have oh wait that's still that's still killing us because we need to actually play these are our lands I guess if we go like this we I guess the opponent could have a rally so I need to make sure the opponent could have a rally and still kill us here does that does that work I guess I'll need to have the death graphs just in case of the rally yeah, this is this is the play. Because the opponent could be playing the rally here with the Nico, uh, with the Nico regions. We'll go like this. We have enough blockers that I think we beat the rally anyways. Um, the question is gonna be, what are we looking for here? I don't think another Ash matters. We go Ash, we drag, drag. Wow, uh, th letting them get that warning just completely blew us out. I guess let's go here first. Let's just get the draw. I think I'm gonna need the draw. I'm gonna need to find another Mordecai, sir. If I don't find another Mordecai, I'm kinda just screwed, right? I am able to heal up a lot. I am able to heal up a lot, right? The problem is that I need another freeze. Maybe I should have just gone for the glimpse first. With me. So I just need to draw. I just need to find another Mordecai sir, and we should be okay. Or just burn them out. Okay, so that's the freeze. So this the freeze. Um, opponent got challenger on their units. So this has overwhelm. The other ones I can block into them. This is uh this is rough. This is rough here. If we don't top deck another hard I think we just lose. Either that or a haste spike to kill this one. Uh -huh. 
Wait. Oh, because they have scout. Wait, 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 wait. Shit. It's not enough. It's not enough no matter what I do. It's not enough no matter what I do. If I freeze, the opponent still keeps a challenger here. Yeah, if I freeze, the opponent still keeps a challenger, which I don't like. The opponent's healing back up. It's not enough. No matter what we do, it's not enough. So fearsome, challenger, block. Yeah, one mana off, man. One mana off and we could have just won this game. Yeah. Ah, no, I messed up. I just didn't play around the warden. I just did not play around the warden at all. We could have literally just won this game if, if I had that Mordecai set I turned earlier. That's so rough. That's so rough. GG's. Hey, welcome back, everyone. Hope you enjoyed those games of Ash Mordecai set. Those games were pretty long, so you ended up with a pretty long video. We had two very, very long back and forth games. We also have one loss, right? We had that one loss against the Nico Elder Dragon. I completely disrespected the fact that they could have Warden, right? Like, I just didn't think about Warden of the Tribes. Uh, it just completely, like, slipped my mind, and it ended up getting me punished, right? We were so close. If on that last turn we had Flash Freeze instead of Three Sisters, we could have gone Flash Freeze into the Mordecai's death run, an opponent would have, would, have, would have not been able to kind of come back into the game. But unfortunately, we ended up with the three sisters instead of the flash freeze, and it's why we ended up kind of just losing and not be able to do a death run. But it was all fun games. We got to beat that double Biego level up uh, game by burning them out with Mordecai, sir. Uh, we got to beat the uh, the Nora as well, right? Because So kind of playing around early bird by never using eradication. And yeah, it's, it's just fun. It's just fun. We didn't get to see a lot of Ash, unfortunately, but we did get to see a lot of Ravna. And why I think it's so fun when you have this Ravna and just have these really big units that the opponent cannot do anything about. Uh, let's talk about strategy, right? The deck is very slow, like every Mordecai said deck. At the end of the day, you're going to play like every Mordecai said deck. You're going to try to get Mordecai, say, with Kendra, your Legion of the Sever, etc. But again, you end up adding this, this different flavor where now you can also play Revna and be able to bring this Revna back over and over with your Mordekaiser, allowing you to then have this really wide and tall board that the opponent has to deal with. So that is one reason why this deck kind of can be a little bit different, because now you have a turn six play into a turn seven Mordekaiser that's going to give you two draws, because that's the other key part about Revna. The fact that you're able to just get draw, which can draw you into the Mordekaiser or the Rekindler itself, because we don't really have a ton of units. So if you don't already have the Mordekaiser in your hand, playing Redna has a good chance of drawing your Mordekaiser, right? So, so that's another reason why this can be very, very powerful. But again, in general, you probably want to play your early units, just like any Mordekaiser deck. Play your Legion of the Sever if you have Ash or Ragna or Mordecai or Rekindle in your hand, and then slowly transition to this late game where we're gonna go Ragna into Mordecai into Rekindle and just kind of slowly grind out the opponent. With that said, uh, in my mulligan, I think it's very important for me to get Mordecai, Ragna, and Omenhawk. So I recommend just mulliganing your whole hand if you don't see those cards. And if you do see those cards, mulligan the rest of your cards so that you get them. I think the Omenhawk is really nice as an early unit that can block, especially if you're going against a Nora deck or an Elusive deck. And then the Red Knight into Mordecai is really that turn 6, 7 combo that you want. Because again, that Red Knight allowing you to join another unit is really what this deck is kind of looking for. So, Omenhawk, Red Knight, Mordecai sir, is what I would say to keep in your mulligan. Unless you're going against a deck that has a champion that's vulnerable to Soul Harvest, then obviously you also want to keep the Soul Harvest if you're going against like a Hammer Tinger deck or even a Morgana, right, etc., etc. Uh, but yeah, that, that would be my advice. And again, it's going to be very slow games. You're going to just win with Mordecai eventually. Uh, kind of keep in mind how often you can trigger that Mordecai ability because once you get Mordecai skill to trigger three or four times, it's really easy to burn the opponent out no matter, no matter how much HP they have, as you saw in a couple of our games today. So yeah. 
Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this. I thank you, Benjamin, for recommending the deck for us. If you liked our video, make sure to like it below and subscribe to us. We post LOR videos every single day. You can also join our channel and become a member. We have two tiers, gladiators and champions, each one with a different perks that you can check out in the join button below or in the description below to find out how to join and what the different perks bring you. Uh, additionally, you can also find us on Twitch at Twitch we stream every now and then, and you can also find us on Discord and Twitter. The links to those are both in the description below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all again tomorrow.